You asked, and we are going to deliver. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra Leica phone versus the Vivo X80 Pro with the Zeiss optics in it. Both of these phones got a lot of hype out there in terms of their cameras, but which one is one of the best camera phones of 2022 for the Android system? Let's find out right now. All right, so talking about this camera system, of course, we've got a Vario Summicron lens set up in here and a brand new one inch sensor. This is a uh, sensor that we've never seen on any other camera phone before. It's a proprietary sensor designed for the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. If you look at the back of the phone, you'll actually see a very large camera in the center. And you might be thinking, well, isn't that the main Leica camera, the one inch sensor camera? No, that's the wide. The one inch uh, sensor is on the left of it, which is a little bit odd in terms of design language. I would have figured that Leica and Xiaomi would have wanted it to have that camera front and center and have the ultra wide and the macro lens or telephoto lens around that, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so let's talk about this Leica quality. What is the Leica look? And if we go back in time, actually the Leica look came from the lenses because film was film based on the film stock. Every film body was relatively the same. Of course, Leica's was built with brass, but we could arguably say a better made body than a lot of other camera systems out there. But it was the lenses that's kept Leica separate from a lot of the competitors out there and made them very special. As we come into the digital world though, then it became what the sensor was able to produce and, and of course the processor. And one of the cameras that still to this day collectors love the colors of was the M9. CCD sensor was designed with Kodak and it almost had a Kodachrome look to it, which is beautiful. To this day, people still buy that camera for the look, the colors, that quote unquote Leica look. Now Leica has uh, since adopted new sensors, new technology, and the colors have changed quite significantly, but there's still relatively that same color science, which is more vibrancy, reds are very strong, greens are prominent. You're gonna notice it with the number of the sample images we're showing you here throughout this video. The reds stand out, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the greens, the greenery, the lush, the landscapes, if you wanna capture that, you're going to really enjoy it. Blues pop, it's really the vibrancy that really comes alive. Now when we go into the black and white modes here, of course when you shoot in JPEG, you have all these settings inside the SL2, for example. But when you go into black and white, it, it does remind me a little bit of the monochrome series from Leica, the Q, the M series. Now, those cameras were designed with a monochrome sensor only, no color. That was taken out of the camera altogether. And it's not a filter. The sensor was a black and white sensor. And that is some of the best black and white photography you will ever see out of any camera to date coming out of those monochrome systems. Now, of course, they don't have that here in this Xiaomi 12S Ultra. But what they do have is something relatively very similar similar to the profile that we're seeing here in the SL2 and other Leica cameras that you shoot in JPEG. Now when you shoot in RAW, you're not gonna get any of that. So I will be showing you sample images from the SL2 with the 50 f uh, 2 Summicron versus the 12S Ultra just for fun. But obviously this will be a much better optical setup than the 12S Ultra. But to give you an idea in terms of the color profile, what it looks like out of the Leica camera versus what it looks like out of the 12S Ultra. So what else is inside this camera that makes it unique? Well, of course, you have these various different filters like Vivid, Natural, um, authentic, the black and white, black and white high contrast. Um, you've got a lot of these profiles that are built inside of it which make it really good. And of course the lenses. The lenses are absolutely astounding. Now of course the main camera sensor, the one inch sensor, will have the best lens in my personal opinion. It is sharp. You have less ghosting, less flaring than I've seen on any other smartphone thus far. It is optically beautiful. And we're also going to be comparing it to the X80 Pro because that has a Zeiss setup inside of it. Zeiss lenses, Leica lenses, how do they fare with each other? You might be surprised at the results of this, but I will tell you this, out of all the camera phones I've tested thus far, the main sensor out of this thing is the most impressive I've used up to this point in 2022. So we've now come to the point where we're going to show you comparison side by side of images, X80 Pro versus the 12S Ultra. Check out this montage and we'll be back with you with our final thoughts.
So as we saw from the photos in that montage, both of these images are relatively really good. Now the edge in terms of clarity, in terms of resolving power, in terms of depth of field, I'm going to give it to the Xiaomi Leica. That one inch sensor does definitely make a difference. Um, the Vivo also has its own character, its own je ne sais quoi. I mean, it's that, it's that Zeiss color, it's a little bit more muted, a little bit more cinematic, um, and there's times that I really like what the Zeiss camera is doing, but again, that one inch sensor is absolutely beautiful in terms of lower light uh, situations, in terms of a re uh, reduction in flaring because of the lenses. I mean, the video that you're seeing right here, I really like it. Now, the color can be toned down a little bit, and sometimes in my personal opinion and that's something that you can do in post but it is for the most part the camera system to beat in 2022 thus far at least for the main camera but the vivo x80 pro does have its uh its charm and so for those of you on the fence i mean of course in terms of optical quality i'm going to give it to the leica xiaomi phone the 12s ultra but this zeiss phone is no slouch in its own right and especially with firmware updates coming through they're going to be improving the camera system i'm sure some of these uh, bokeh effects will get better over time and this is also a very fun phone so anyway guys those are my thoughts on the 12S Ultra and the X80 Pro, which one would you rather have? Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see our Vivo X80 Pro review, click right here, and our other smartphone camera reviews will also be listed here as well.